so I am on day 11 and I had one more ceremony in the books. This process has been very interesting. I've worked corporate America for a very long time and I monotony was always my worst enemy. I hated monotony. I hated waking up doing the same thing over and over and over again. Um, I was just not my, not my thing. Um, I rebelled against the corporate structure for a long time, against the hustle mentality, the go, go, go thing, the, the structure, the military, like, this is what I need to do. This is also why I didn't like peyote for so long. This year, um, I made it a point to really focus on my routine. I've had a, I've had a morning routine for quite some time now, especially like once I got on a spiritual path with meditation, I've been meditating every single day for a very long time. And that was my first introduction to like a real routine. And, um, but I was still always really flowy. Like, yes, I meditated, but then anything after that was very flowing. It was like, sometimes I, sometimes I danced, sometimes I went to a yoga class, sometimes I journaled, sometimes like the rest of it was never really structured. And so this year I made it really a point to, um, to really hone in on that routine to really dial it in and I fell in love with it I my morning routine was two hours the beginning of 2023 and I really fell in love with it and I'm like who am I who is this person that loves such a long routine like that's very unlike me but um I did I fell in love with it and now my morning routine is much shorter but that kind of just taught me discipline it taught me how to be in my own how to fall in love with the stuff that I'm doing I was mentioning that with these plant dietas we have to do a contract of sorts and with these contracts where I'm in my contract, I'm sacrificing a lot. I'm spending a lot of time alone. I'm doing things that are requiring me to, to spend a lot of time with, with myself. And, um, sorry, I'm, I'm hearing jungle noises and I'm like, ah, what's going on? <laughs> so, um, and I am in the jungle, like deeps in the jungle. <laughs> um, so it's causing me to spend a lot of time on my own and do a lot of things that are, that require me to spend a lot of time alone. And I'm finding so much love in all of it because I have that built up routine already where I can meditate for an hour, journal every morning, where I can do a whole bunch of stuff and I'm really, really, really loving that process. So the other night's, um, the other night's ceremony, my intention for that ceremony was to go in and to sit upright the entire ceremony with my spine straight. And at a point I was starting to, um, I was starting to really like just want to like lean back. I wanted to lay down a little bit and, and I wasn't connecting to the medicine at all. And my Rao was telling me, my dieta was telling me like, focus, patience, focus, patience, focus, patience. And then I started kind of negotiating with, <laughs> with her. And I was like, okay, so once this one woman stops singing, is it okay if I lean back? And she's like, okay, that's fine. So this woman stopped singing and I leaned back. And the second I leaned back, that's when my, my connection to the medicine started. 
because I was focused the entire time. Like I was focusing on keeping myself straight, keeping myself aligned. And it was so beautiful. And keeping my, my spine straight. Like I'm, I like laying down during ceremonies, but I'm here practicing. I'm here getting better. I'm here in training. So I need to do the work. Um, and the ceremony was really beautiful. And then I went home went back to my room and um Noya Rao just kept talking and talking and talking to me like she talked for hours I couldn't sleep she gave me a biology lesson she gave me an anatomy lesson she gave me a um a nutritional lesson like all these things and I'm just so grateful because my connection with her is so strong and it was really beautiful. The second that I met Noya Rao, which I've actually found out that she's been coming to me for quite some time. And the vision that I was saying in the previous, one of the previous videos, I put my hand on her. And the first time I actually saw her in person, put my hand on the Noya Rao tree. And I closed my eyes and I saw all these colors like zooming through time and space as if like I was zooming through time and space and then she hugged me, her energy hugged me and she's like, welcome, welcome. And since then I've had such a beautiful connection with Noya Rao. Um, some people are not connecting as much and some people are having a much harder time processing and their processes are much harder. And I'm just so grateful that mine's so easy and I'm saying this lightly because I'm doing the work. I've been doing the work. I've been prepping myself to come here unintentionally with all the things that I've been doing with a two hour morning routine, with meditating for much longer, with just being in nature, connecting. Um, it's been very interesting. It's also been teaching me to slow down a lot. I'm very unintentional unconscious about the things that I do I'm very I'm I've always been quite impulsive and it's been either like a fuck yes in my body or a fuck no and if it's a fuck yes like I just I go for something and this process has been teaching me how to really slow down check in with myself check in with Noya Rao if something is okay for me can I do this can I eat this the other day at lunch like there was this bowl of vegetables and it looked so yummy and I put like a couple tomatoes on my on my plate and some onions and some other stuff and the second I put it on my plate and I was like nope don't eat that and this is what I mean like slowing down making sure like can I have this is this okay for my diet is this okay for Noya Rao right now for me to eat this with my diet um it's it's interesting certain things this diet's going to be connected to me for the rest of my life and I need to be really mindful of of what I'm putting in my body what I'm putting on my body what I'm eating like certain things she was telling me I can't have kiwis even post the diet um I can't have kiwis like never again unfortunately I can't have creamy dressings she was telling me all these things that I can't have like spicy food I can't have anymore she's she won't like it in my body um she she's like up to a level three you can have anything over a level three spicy you can't have anymore which I thought was fascinating um if we if I follow through I need to make some sacrifices to be connected to these plants and these are the sacrifices that I'm making I need to do them in order to bestow the the gifts that she's going to give me and she's already given me so many gifts so many lessons and this is the commitment that I'm making to myself this is the commitment that I'm making to these plants so that I can grow and I can be better and I can help you better as well like I really need to just make sure that I'm following through with all of this. And this isn't just, oh, I'm in the jungle for two months and I'm going to come home and I'm going to go back to how I was. No, I'm making these sacrifices for myself, for my spirituality, so that in turn you guys can get a better version of me. 
I'm also very grateful that I've been, um, I've been working with my intuition for a very long time because that's also part of why Anoya Rao and I are so connected right now because I work with my intuition and she speaks to me so clearly I can decipher what voice is my voice in my head, what voice is Noya Rao coming through for me, what voice is another spirit coming through for me. And a lot of people I've noticed have been having troubles with that. They're like, I don't know how to decipher who's me, who's Noya Rao, who's maybe someone else. And I was teaching them a little bit about intuition, how to connect to their intuition and how to decipher those voices. And I'm so grateful that I have so many of these tools that I've been doing this work for so long that is making my process so much easier over here. Um, yeah, I'm making this commitment. I'm making this commitment to myself. I'm making this commitment to my path, to all of you, to um, to the plants, to Noya Rao, to, to, to my life, to God. I'm making these commitments to God because again, Noya Rao is a direct line to God. And my relationship with God has strengthened so much since being here already. And I'm, um, I'm so excited, so excited for all that's to come. That's, um, that's the update that I have for you guys. Day 11 in the jungle. I'll see you guys soon.